Hey guys, my name is Michael and today we are playing some more Red Dead Redemption. Um, in the last uh, episode we finished the first intro mission, we killed some rabbits, we killed some coyotes, got introduced to this fine bunny lady and um, well today we're gonna do some more missions for bunny and hopefully we will see more of this beautiful landscape that Rockstar has created for us in this beautiful game that still looks beautiful today. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williams. What you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right, so now I guess I have to prove to you guys that I know how to ride a horse. Even though I am city dweller in real life. But I can ride a horse in this game. No problem. Shouldn't be, at least. But you know, I have this in Lucky Charm. Every time I have to show off to people, it always ends. In a bad way, and I think I just jinxed it. Let's just shut the fuck up and do this race here. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! Hey, you're cheating, I man. You're not gonna be a gentleman about this! No, I'm not. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Yeah. Now, good trick, um, a very good trick to um, keep sprinting without um, tearing your horse is to you just like to tap the X button uh, th three times, take a little break, and then tap them three times again, take a little break, right and uh, repeat. Come on. That way your horse will keep a uh, very good speed, not tough you speed, but to a pretty decent speed and it will not tire from it. So that's a little trick for y'all. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Shit. Yeah. I always fuck up this part. Shit. Blow it up now. Oh fuck. Let's go. It seems like we're winning this race, man. Oh shit, no, oh, no, 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 no. Fuck man, I'm, I'm not paying attention. Yeah. Come on. Now we still got time to win this race. Oh, come on man. Dude, no fucking shit. Fuck man. I'm gonna have to edit this shit out, man. I, I told. <laughs> 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 it's like I said, man. I, I, this haven't even happened to me uh, before. You guys are just probably gonna just just gonna be like, man, you suck, man. Fuck, man. It's just oh shit, man. 
obviously when I have to show off to some people then that's when I have to fuck up man always it and I was doing real well as uh, shit man I don't have words for this shit on the count of three let's just try this three, shit again two one go I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this no you don't know me at all Miss McFarland let's go Okay, this time I will show you guys. Fuck man, what the fuck is he doing now? Bruh, bruh, put the fuck down there man. Problems with shit, man. Follow me. Yeah. Don't fuck up. Easy. You lucky I'm being a gentleman. I'm coming. Don't you worry. Come on. Now again? Oh, all right. I think I've heard too much. Okay, don't fuck up this time. See, that was easy. Come on. I think it's because I was stuck there and my heart's just freaked out because that shit never happens to me. But obviously when I'm doing a let's play, I'm obviously gonna have to fuck up more than usual because I'm gonna have to give you guys the wrong impression that I suck at this game, which I don't. I can assure you of that. There. And I won. Shit, man. pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marshall. But we're not gonna do that just yet, because in the next mission we're gonna do for Bunny, we're going to uh, Armadillo anyway, so taking the horse all the way to Armadillo will it's not really necessary when we have a mission here so we can kill two birds with one stone I guess do we have any, do we have any money? we have no money so we can't buy anything well I think we can just get right into the next mission ah oh, Mr. Marston how are you? good Mr. McFarland how are you? I'm well would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. All right, let's go. Now these can be a little tricky to um, to handle. I don't know if it's just me, but I think they're pretty hard to handle in high speeds. A couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? 
Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. <laughs> Sexist bastard. Not really. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. Yeah, and, and I'm at one point during your day of hunting down outlaws, do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. He kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. And now we are in Amadillo. We've been here before, but then um, only been to the saloon. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. It was just Manhattan back then. I don't think they just called it New York City. The most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. First one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Dr. Me Johnson, the sir. Store when you're done. She's a harsh lady. Alright, let's go buy some medicine. I don't think we're gonna need it. Howdy, mister. I'm selling some good honey. Well, obviously we will because medicine is to your way to heal yourself during battle. So for you who haven't played Red Dead Redemption before, but if you haven't played Red Dead before, honestly shame on you. But I might as well explain stuff in case you well, don't know. Thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. Yeah, just leave me here. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. I will try not to get shot. Wait, did you just go twice? Well, that's a game. That's just the ping. I never use stagecoach, either because I forget it or, well, I don't want to waste money on that. So now we are in Armadillo. So let's go visit this marshal of his. I didn't know what. Oh. I was trying to say there. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> What you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. 
Come what? You you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Let's go deal with some odd boss. Let's head over to the saloon. Hey there. How are you, friend? Huh. Time to weed. A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walter. Goddamn road agents and prey on the stage is coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Let's call our horse. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. Get the fuck over here, horse. Yeah. Ain't no time for chilling out, honey, and taking holidays. Yeah. Walton's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang has been growing fast. How long's easy money for easy work? Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. The soundtrack in this game is very good, too. 
This is the mission where we first get introduced to, um, to actually shooting other people. So that's gonna be interesting. Hopefully I won't die and fuck up. But, but well, you see, you saw the race, so don't make any expectations. Like hold up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. All right. my revolver for this. Move up to that wagon. All right. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. You ain't taking me alive. Woo! Where do you sit in the mid out the fuck? Start with this carbine here. That's better. Shit, I can't see anything here. There we go. Next guy here. There we go. Don't try to be something you're not. Guess what left now. Try to take him alive. Alrighty. Shouldn't be a problem. That's a little thing you can do as well. Use something called Dead Eye. Not a bad shot. Close down time. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marshal. Yeah. Damn you! Come on. Hey, we got our first pile of cash. And we also got a lot of dead people here, which we can loot. Um, so I'm gonna loot these guys here, and I'm gonna go back to you guys. Alright guys, I am back, and I looted these guys, so let's just head back to Armadillo. And I hear some shooting. Where does that come from? Oh, this is a side mission. Alright. Any more guys? Very grateful. There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. Thanks, mister. Well, yeah, that's, an, that's another element in this game. Um, there's treasure hunting. I think there are five treasures or something in this game that you can find. And um, I think it's essential to find those to progress in the game. Which, by the way, um, I might try and see if I can finish this game 100%. Um, but it depends because there are so many things you have to do in order to finish the game. Not only do we have the uh, main missions, but also side missions and random events. Um, Treasure hunting, like I said, and a bunch of other things. You need to find some different horse breeds as well. and. And outfits, you have need to find all outfits, which can be a bit tricky, because in order to get those outfits, you need to either win in poker someplace, or, or do some other side missions for people. But, um, we'll see when the time comes. We'll take things as they come. But for now, let's go back to, um, I think we're gonna go back to the marshal. Yeah, we might as well go back to the marshal here. There's also uh, a hunting um, gameplay in, the, in this game, which I might start doing. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it on screen. I might do a little bit of it on screen, show you guys how it's done. But other than that, I'm probably gonna do it off screen. 
because this is just something I do so I can earn a little bit of extra cash. Oh yeah, we got this lady right here. Um, this is the first side mission we are introduced to, or can be introduced to. So um, I think we're gonna take this side mission actually. I I have time for that. So let's talk to this woman here. They took my boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? No. They can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Well, that sounds sad. Let's go looking after this kid. Right, so let's see if we can find the map. Um, these um, areas here that are marked with purple, those are areas where you find um, objectives uh, on your um, side missions. So let's head over there, see what we can find. Yeah, there are so many reasons why I love this game. I mean, the soundtrack is good. Look, look at this area. Look, look at those cliffs, man. How can you not like that? And the character, John Marston, he's just such a likable character. I mean, he he is a bit secretive here in the beginning, but um, when you progress more in the game, he's gonna open more up to his background. And once he does that, you're really going to start relating to him. And I think we're taking a wrong turn here. We need to go up there. So, yeah, I played this game a lot, but uh, sometimes I still struggle with finding around here. But yeah, I think we need to go up here. But so many elements in this game. This game is what. Well, there's there are some things in this game that I think should have been in GTA V, like um, poker, for example. I would really love poker in uh, in GTA V, for example, and. Other uh, types of those mini games, which there are mini games in GTA 5, but they aren't as um, well interesting. Now, what the hell do we have here? That does not look good, man. They must have been in a bad way. And that marks the end of uh, of this side mission. This is not the complete end of the side mission. Um, you can finish a chapter in the side mission, and when you progress more in the main storyline, um, the actual um, side quest will also start progressing. So you unlock more chapters. Oh, someone's in trouble here. Let's go help him if we can. Oh, I might as well um, skin some of those animals, which is the um, the hunting element I told you about in this game, which is very cool. Gives you a little bit of extra cash. To be frank, um, most of the cash you're gonna get in this game is either from looting dead people or skinning animals. Um, missions don't really pay that much. So uh, most of the cash, if you want to count on uh, on a lot of money and get a lot of the cool stuff, you will need to um, to hunt animals at some point. But um, you see that that's fun. You can also pick plants and plant flowers and, and stuff, and um, those will also um, give you some cash. If you hunt an animal, let's let's say you hunt a bear out in the forest. Um, then you can sell that, uh, that uh, the bear skin in the desert for extra money because the bears are rare or they aren't in the bears at all in the desert 
so they will pay you extra money because the the animal is um is rare in that area, which is pretty cool. But let's progress in the story here. Go talk to the marshal, see what he's up to. Justice in Pike Spacing. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Let's get. Which is my horse? Oh, the brown one here. Come on, Marshal. Come on. How long you been working for the government, Marshal? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. <laughs> Burned. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Yeah. Let's see if it goes as well as last time. Everybody dismount and follow me. Let's go! Stay alert, boys! All right. Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Smoke the sons of bitches. Getting away from Let's me. Split up. You take the left, boys. I'll go right. Marston, you can go with the deputies or cover me. Fuck the deputies, man. I'm with you, Marshal. Hellfire. Oh my 
to give an old man a hand. You ain't gonna shoot me, bastard. I can see you were hit, man. There's oh, a couple of the rat bastards. No, well, not. That's game logic right there. People are shooting at you, aim at a bird. I know you were up there. Put down your gun and surrender! Looks like we got him. Let's move on. Stick with me. My God. I doubt you'll be needing this. Look, the deputies are making progress. Ah. Hello there, deputies. What would you have done if you went alone? to this area here. Sixty-six dollars? That's a lot of money. We're getting rich already. We can buy a fire revolver for that money. Probably not. Keep your eyes open. I saw a couple of snipers across the way. That's not good. Eyes up! Sniper! Surrender! Are up! Oh, you what? I'm I can't see shit. Gunshots. Quick, let's go help my deputies. Alrighty. Damn fine shooting, boys. Come on, let's regroup. Alright. Let's get. Hope this bridge isn't gonna fall apart. Gather around, listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. All right, ninja style. Kill the hell out of you! Don't 
think I killed anyone, but explosions are always fun. You ain't leaving Pox Nation alive! Oh, I thought that was TNT. It is TNT, I think. Alright, he killed the last one. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Alright. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. Khan's housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, Kim, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. We've saved the milk production. That's good. A hundred and ten dollars, and that gives us a new mission marker on the map for Mr. West Dickens. But that is going to have to wait until the next episode. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and whatnot. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.